cool. Hey everybody, it's Devin here with Make Anything, and today we're checking out another 3D pen. This is one that a lot of you have been asking about. It's the Lix, and this is the smallest 3D pen, and as you can tell, it comes in a really nice package. This is marketed as a high quality, professional 3D pen. So, let's see if it's up to the job. So here's the box, as you can see, it all looks very nice and well designed. You open it up and there's the pen. And yeah, it's like they advertise, it's very small, very small indeed. I mean, it feels just like an ordinary pen. So, I hope it works as well as it looks, because this is one beautiful looking 3D pen. There's the instructions, of course. And everything is all nice and neat in here. We've got a power supply that is USB. Ooh. As well as a wall charger, custom branded and everything. We've got some filaments here. Black, as well as these neon colors. All right, the instructions are very simple and very clear. There's only two buttons on this pen. So at first you select if you want ABS or PLA. So you press the top button for PLA, the bottom button for ABS, and then the top button becomes the slow extrusion button, and the front button becomes the fast extrusion button. So I'm gonna plug this in, and I'm going to select the bottom button for ABS mode. So I selected that, and now I've got this red light here and red means I have ABS selected. So right now it's heating up and it's supposed to happen within two minutes, which is about twice as long as other pens I've tried, but I guess maybe that's what comes with this small size. So this filament comes in sticks, similar to the three doodler create and the start, but these are 1.75 millimeters, so they're a bit thinner. And I guess that means they'll run out quicker. All right, so my first test with the Lix pen, I'm gonna make a little ring for my sister. So I stole one of her existing rings and I'm gonna trace that and then draw a new 3D pen ring. So here's her ring and just so I can get the sizing right, I'm gonna try to trace it. Kind of, <laughs> just to get an idea at least. Oh, there we go. That's roughly the size we want. And then I can take the pen and just follow that circle. And I'm gonna do one more because we want some thickness for this ring. So now what I'm gonna do to get these, the thickness here, is I'm gonna hold these apart and then I'm just gonna draw a line connecting the two. So let me get some of these boogers off of the pen. And I'll just do a line. And I'm gonna go through and draw some more. Gosh, this pen is actually really fast, even in the slow mode. And it's not the most comfortable, it's a little scratchy. So let's try adding another color. I'll press both the buttons, and that should reverse out the filament, which has already gone back into the pen. So let's see if it can come out. I guess it's too far in there. So, I have no option but to continue putting in plastic from the back. Okay, so I guess I'm just gonna run out all the black until we get red coming out. Okay, so now we've got some red, we can add some little decoration on here.
All right, so the ring, that's a tough one. It's a really tiny object, so maybe I should have done a necklace piece or something for my sister. The Lix pen, um, apparently it extrudes pretty fast, both in the fast and slow speeds. So doing something tiny like this is pretty difficult, but I can imagine it's really good for doing larger things and it'll help you get things done a lot quicker. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use these little blank heads I printed out and I'm gonna give them some facial features. So I thought it would be fun to draw hair and stuff onto my 3D prints. Since the 3D printer isn't so great for doing hair, there's some tricks to get it done, but I think a 3D pen is a lot better for the job. So we're gonna give these bald guys some hair. So sometimes the pen retracts, other times it doesn't, which is kind of odd. It seems like if you're extruding for a really long time, then it will uh, retract. But if you just do short lines, it doesn't. And while it's idle, it does tend to booger up a little bit at the tip. So you do have to constantly be wiping that off. All right, and this isn't totally related to the 3D pen, but I thought it's pretty cool. So these little guys I made, I printed out on my printer. And as you can see, they're all really smooth. There's no roughness under the chin or anything and you think how the heck could I print that without any support materials and the trick is that I didn't print it standing up like this I actually tilted it back a little on this flat face so it prints at this angle that makes it so that the chin is not so uh, overhanging let's see if we can give these guys some hair chin here which is where a thin little pen like this helps this would be pretty hard to do with any other pen just to reach underneath there oh and I ran out of black just gotta stick another thing of filament in there So it's actually getting hot, like right here, up at the handle. Maybe it's not meant to be used for a long time. I guess I'll uh, finish off with these colors.
now we can do some little details. Alright, there we have my four characters. Mr. Afro Man, Mustachio Man, Sweater Man, and Ted. Let me know which one you guys like the most. I'm a fan of Sweater Man. He rocks that yellow turtleneck. He don't care what nobody says. Way to go, Sweater Man. So there you have it. That's the Lix Pen. Um, I've got to say, it worked alright, but I think they sacrificed some function in order to make it look so nice. Because since it's so small, um, it actually does get pretty warm up at the front. So that's something to keep in mind. And also, it was smoking quite a bit. Um, ABS fumes are always kind of nasty, but in this case, I really had to open a window just so I wouldn't pass out. So make sure you do this somewhere with ventilation. Um, and since this uses PLA as well, I would just generally always go with PLA plastic over ABS. While ABS is kind of nice, it's a little stronger. PLA is just as good for most things, plus it doesn't have those fumes and it doesn't smell bad at all. So go with PLA, but in any case, Licks can do both. The other thing, like I mentioned, both the slow and fast speed are pretty fast, and I pretty much always draw on the fastest speed with all the pens I've tried, but with this one, I found myself wishing I could have it go a little slower on the slow setting, but for things like filling up the hair and filling up large spaces, the speed is a nice thing. So there's kind of a balance there. Another thing that kind of bugged me was I had to load the filament really often because it comes in these thin 1.75 millimeter sticks and they just go through there and you know, I was constantly reloading. Also getting the filament to come back out, usually it was already too far in the pen and I just had to feed another filament through the top and just run out the rest of that color. So there are kind of some quirks with this pen, but if you really want a really small compact 3D pen, if the size and the sleekness and just how good it looks is really important to you, then you should check out the Licks. All right, well, that's it for today. I hope you guys had fun watching and I'll see you next time. I'm Devin, this is Make Anything. Stay inspired.